everyone, it's Scotty and you're watching Scottinawa, the most Scottish guide you never knew you needed to Okinawa. But what is Okinawa, you may ask? Or more importantly, where is Okinawa? Well, let's find out. Okinawa is the 20th largest state in the United States, situated in the Midwest, just north of Texas. It's known for someone called Will Roger... Wait, hang on a minute. Oh no, that's... Um... That's Oklahoma. Okinawa is the southernmost prefecture of Japan, consisting of 160 islands that stretch down from the southern tip of the Japanese mainland all the way down to almost Taiwan. It's a chain of islands known as the Ryukyu Archipelago. That name is a clue to its history, as the islands used to be part of a separate country called the Ryukyu Kingdom, until they were kinda, sorta invaded in 1609 by the Shimazu clan from Kagoshima in the southern part of Japan before the Japanese decided, hang on, we'll make this whole invasion thing official in 1872 when it was made officially a part of Japan. Since then, the Ryukyus have had a bit of a rough time of things, culminating in 1945 when the Americans came for a wee visit. Stuck between the Imperial Army and Uncle Sam's finest, the Okinawan people had the particularly short end of an aggressively faeces-covered stick. Now if you thought having the Americans in charge, things would get dramatically better with democracy and freedom and an unceasing supply of apple pie, you wouldn't really be on the money. Because the Americans basically set up what amounted to a military government for 27 years. This is a bit of a sore period in Okinawa's already particularly sore history, mostly because it's all within living memory for most Okinawans. And well, to put it mildly, the Yanks weren't on their best behaviour the whole time. <laughs> Background tensions in Okinawa would continue to rise until 1972 when the American government finally handed the islands back to mainland Japan, except not quite, because to this day there are still nine American military bases still stationed in Okinawa. But that is another story we'll cover it. These days, things are pretty quiet on the islands overall, much more peaceful than they used to be, and they mostly function now as a tourist spot for the Japanese mainlanders who love to come here and get married. And it's easy to see why, because if you take a look around at the place, it's an absolute stoter. What you need to remember though is that while it's, you know, technically part of Japan, Okinawa, from a cultural standpoint, is not Japan. It's got its own language, food, music and the general outlook on life that is very much distinct from the rest of Japan. What's that you say? A historically unique cultural unit that was subsumed by its larger neighbour and then subsequently ignored and mistreated unless it was politically useful? No. I can't think of another place that could possibly relate to that. But why are you here? And by you, I mean me. You see, I was asking that question under the assumption that that is the question you were asking. It's a rhetorical device, you see. Okay, moving on. I'm here because I'm working at this place. It's called Oist. I live on the campus, so I can almost literally fall out of bed and be ready for work. Well, that's me ready. Let's go. Oist, or to give it its full name, the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology Graduate University, is a series of buildings near Ona, which is in the thin bit around the middle of Okinawa. It's a place that people from all walks of science come to do their PhDs or teach or do research and all that kind of stuff. And there's no departments, like there's no physics or chemistry or biology department. Instead, the philosophy is just to mash them all together and let people collaborate on really interesting things. And that is exactly what happens. It's also located in the middle of some prime rainforest and special care was taken to minimise the impact on the local environment during construction and if you're lucky, you might get to meet some of the locals. Really though, snakes aren't a concern. Uh, still, we'll, we'll go inside anyway. 
My walk to work starts in a tunnel. A very long tunnel. Which ends like this. I mean, I'm no architect, but this is kind of sexy, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Jump into the lift and it takes you up this big pipe to a rather nice view. This is the centre building, the admin and social hub of the university. Even on a gloomy day, it's really quite a pleasant place to sit and have a wee cup of tea or something. And the place you get a wee cup of tea or something is here, Grano. This is the main food hub for Oist, and it's a great wee bakery with a very good selection of baked goods. And this is all beginning to sound a bit like an advert, but it is actually quite nice, and there's not much that's funny to say about something that's quite nice. So you'll have to come up with your own gag. And here's my office. And my chair. My job is basically to take new science publications and translate them into plain English for the public consumption. But OIST is about the science and technology. It's in the name. And there's three massive lab buildings for all of that. You've got your library, complete with lovely view, quantum mechanics. Sure. I mean, I've no idea what any of it means, but people here do, and that's what counts. Of course, no laboratory is complete without several massive posters of ants. Did I mention we have robots? Because we have mother chuffing robots. And should you ever get bored of extremely well-equipped laboratories, you can always go outside and look at all the lovely architecture. Oh, and we have these three sky bridges, because of course we do. And the view's not half bad, so long as you're not tormented by the sight of coral reefs you can't just sky off a of work to go and go and snorkel on because you're an adult now and you have to be RESPONSIBLE. Ugh. So yeah, you want to do a PhD in paradise? Oyster your place, and I'm not gonna lie, it's probably the best place I've ever worked. There's just one problem. This job's only for six months. Better make the most of it then. <laughs>